Hi, so this is a video to show the demonstration of how to map the election violence in Kenya. So for us to do this, we need data that indicates the number of violence acts in an area. So in this particular case, we are going to use the constituencies data. So we have the data for the number of violence acts. And a violence act can be something like robbery or maybe demonstrations or people burning up things. So what I have here is the mock data. It's not the real data, but I'm using it so that I can show a demonstration of how to achieve this. So here I have the data for the constituencies and if I turn it on and zoom it to layer, this is how it looks like. So to show you what I have here, I'm going to open the attribute table and you can see the county name and the constituency name and the other things here. But what is important to us now is the violence act data, this column here and the percent. So I calculate the percent value for the violence that is um, the number of violence act per constituency divided by the sum of the violence acts multiplied by a hundred. So now, if you want to know the areas that have a high probability of this recurring, or areas that have a high number of violence acts, what you need to do is to do a classification. So what you are going to do when we right click and we go to properties. Here under symbology, we are going to click on the graduated type. So this one gives us an opportunity to classify our data so that we can tell the areas that have low values and the areas that have high values. So here I'm going to choose the column where I want to base my classification on and we are going to use the violence act. Now we need to click on classify and for the mode I'm going to use the equal interval and I'm going to have five classes. Now I'm going to click on classify so this is it. You can change the type of color RAM that you want to use just here. So I'm going to change to that and then you click on apply. So now when you see this map you can see the areas that are very dark, the dark red these are the ones that have a high value, the high value of number, the high number of violence acts, while the almost white areas like this one here has a low number of violence, violence acts. That means the probability of violence reoccurring here is very low, while the probability of violence reoccurring in an area such as this is very high. So you can see here how the labels are going to appear in the legend so we can change something here we want to avoid this many zeros in the decimal area so we're just going to click on trim so that is better and you click on apply and then okay so just from this map you can tell the areas that have high number of violence up and the ones that have low so from that you can tell the probability of it recurring in the future now there is another way to do this where we create something called a heat map where we can visualize the areas that have a high probability of it recurring and the ones that do not. So to do that, to create a heat map you need data that is in points format and as you can see this constituency data here is in a polygonal format. So to do that I'm going to obtain the centroids of each constituency and that that centroid is going to have the same data as the one for that constituency. So it's going to represent the constituents. Mm -hmm. So to do that, I created the centroids and these are the centroid points for each constituency. So if you visualize them with the constituency, you can see, you can see them. These are the ones, so if I change the color, maybe we can make them blue, so you can see them easily, so you can see them. Now, if we open the attribute table of these points, they have the same data as the ones for constituency. Here is the violence data. So what I need to do is to create a heat map, so let me turn off the polygon data. and. When we zoom this to layer, we can see, yes, that it's almost like the shape of Kenya, but we want to visualize 
its location so to do that let's turn on the open street map to turn on the open street map you just double click here on the xyz tiles and it's going to open the open street map base map for you so now it's better because here you can tell that these points here are in marsabit county while these ones here are in mandera county so it's better for you to know the location of your area now to create a health heat map let's right click and go to properties again under symbology we're going to click here and what you want here is a heat map so we click on the heat map and for the colors you can change it to magma and then we click on apply so this is how it looks like and to be able to visualize both of them a bit better the base map and the heat map when you come here to rendering you can move along this scale here so that you can see both of them so when you take it to a hundred percent you want to be able to see the base map because you will only be focusing on the heat map so i think that is okay so from this heat map here can see that Nairobi area is the one that has the most visible heat map, each area, and that means that in Nairobi there is a very high probability of violence reoccurring. Same case to Kisumu, Kisi, and Mombasa, and you can see in the rest of the counties there is almost nothing. So this is another way of visualizing the areas of violence to know which ones have a high probability of it reoccurring. So when you zoom in, like when you zoom out, you can still see it. When you zoom in here, you can see this Nairobi area. Yeah, when, the more you zoom in, you see the different counties. So you see Mombasa. So that's how you create a heat map.